Hi guys, today I want to show you a keyword tool that one of my friends has developed. It's pretty different from all the other tools out there. I've used most of them over the years and these days I'm not really using keyword tools all that much for several reasons that we'll come back to. But this tool here is pretty different. So my friend gave me a bunch of credits and asked me to play around with it and tell him what I thought about it. And I want to share with you guys what I think about this tool because I think it's doing some pretty cool stuff. And definitely there's some features that we don't see with regular keyword tools that's helpful for what we do here. And a quick side note here, Ben, the dude behind this tool, gave me two free seats to offer to you guys. I think he loaded up 10,000 credits on these two accounts. So if you want a chance to win those, just place a comment on this video. I'll draw a winner within 24 hours of going live with this video here and let you know in the comments to contact me so you can get that free account, all right? And of course, I have an affiliate link at the top of the description in this video, so thank you if you want to use that. So I want to log into the tool now, show you how it's different and what it does well, and I'm going to show you how I think it can be used. So come with me here to the screen. Here's what you see when you first visit the site. You have Discover up here where you start finding the keywords and then you have the all reports. So all the previous searches and lists you have created will be found here under my reports. But let's try and load up this tool and see what it does. And here you will sort of feed it with a seed word, like a broad word that you want to do some research around. Let's say it could be golf clubs or whatever. I don't know why we always use golf as an example. I guess there's a lot of golf sites out there. I haven't really checked the competition. Uh, let's click on search tips here and just see a few things that you need to know if you want to check this out. So you want to be a little careful with super broad searches. So first of all, you'll get way too many ideas. And also it says down here, don't type in a word like Apple because it can mean so many things. But more than that, you can use a cool feature here called a wildcard. So notice here how you can place this wildcard different places in the sentence. But now let's just try and do a broad search here around, for example, golf bags. So let's say you were to build out a category on your golf site around bags. Then you can just go in here and type golf bags and hit search here. And out here, there's also a function to upload your own list of keywords. So if you want to use another tool, some other method, and just upload a bunch of keywords here, you can do that. And we'll, I'll show you in a second why that can be super helpful because there's some pretty cool data that we will see for each keyword or search phrase um, that comes up with this tool here. So let's click search. Now we want to wait a little while. I'm gonna time this so you know exactly how long time this takes. So now it's done loading and uh, let's see what it comes up with here. So you'll see that all the results all the phrases or topics or keywords or whatever you want to call these are sorted here in different categories. First, we have questions. Those are always great because it's so easy to write an article based on a question. Then we have a best category. It's always great for affiliate articles where you'll get an idea for which type of products people are looking for. Then we have some comparisons. Those are also great for affiliate type articles. Then we can have some how to. Those can be especially great for YouTube if there's some visual stuff that you can show people and alternatives and ideas. But you'll see the most results are up here. And now it'll also suggest you a few things that you might want to add as negatives. So you can sort out everything that has to do with airlines or waterproofing or weight or size. If you want to do that, you just click here. But for this test here, let's just get all of it. Let's click get keywords. And now you'll see a few things here. Of course, you will have a long list here of all the queries. If you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see that you have everything here in one window. It's not paginated, meaning you don't have to click to page number two, three, four, and so on. And I really like that about this tool, that you just have a long overview of everything immediately. And um, it is taking in some keyword volume data. And I would probably just ignore those. But of course, if it's a huge number, it'll probably have more searches than those toward the bottom here that says zero. But as we have looked at a couple of times, these numbers are not that relevant. And that's also one of the main reasons why I'm not using many of the other tools, because if you're just too focused on the search volume for a single key phrase, a keyword search phrase, then you'll often miss a lot of good opportunities. Because remember, each article we write will probably rank for a hundred different search phrases. So it's impossible sort of to group these and know how much volume you'll get anyway. So it's not like if you wrote the perfect article about best golf bags, you'll have 12,000 
uh, monthly visitors to your site. But let's move on to that last column here that says SERP uh, because that's pretty cool. That's what I really like about this tool. So see here, it's a preview of the search result for the keyword. The number shows the amount of easy sites ranking on the first page. So when you mouse over here, you'll see the search result here. So you don't have to actually go and do the search. You'll see that the number one site here is My Golf Spy. So you will have an idea here already, whether there's an article, if it's Quora, Reddit, or forums, or any other sites that indicate that we're dealing with what we call an underserved topic, which you've heard me talk about so many times. And that's what we want to find, especially for a new site. So I like this tool because it'll show you quickly here uh, what's at the top of Google. So when you click it out here, it will spin for a little second and that takes a little while, but you can do something really cool here. You can click this button, get all SERPs. Let's do that. So SERP stands for search engine results page. So that means what we see on the page one of Google. And now that we click this button here, it will start generating all these uh, search result pages for us and, and take them in here so we can quickly see for each search phrase what's ranking at the top of Google and is this something where we can compete. So now we wait a little while till all these search result page snapshots are generated for us. So this took less than a minute I think and see what we can do now when you just mouse over here you'll see what's ranking on Google and to me that's the only way to do proper competition analysis. If you want to know if you can compete for a search topic, you just want to know what's ranking up there. And here you can just go in and click on one of these and it'll open up and you'll see what it is. So you don't have to go forth and back in Google all the time like we usually do. You will just be able to click here. So now let's try and go to the questions tab here. I think golfing is pretty competitive. So we'll probably not find a lot of things here where it's completely underserved. But let's try and take something that's pretty specific. Our Sun Mountain Golf Bags Waterproof, for example. So if you go here, you'll see there's a new site, there's a shop, there's a new site. You can go in here and you can see if there's a forum, if there's Quora, if there's Reddit, if there's user-generated sites at the top. And that's the feature that I like about this tool here. And something else that Ben, the guy behind this tool here, just recently added is this green color out here, you'll see that this page here has the number four on it and it's green. So that's an indicator that we have a topic here that's pretty easy to rank for. So for example, why are golf bags so expensive? When you mouse over that here, you'll see this one is highlighted as green. That means that we're dealing with a forum here. This one is green, it's a forum too. Here's Reddit, here's a forum. So this is a great topic to write on. I can't believe this topic here is not more competitive. If you have a site about golfing, you should definitely write this article here, why are golf bags so expensive? And you'll see here how some of these has zero. That means that the tool here didn't find any user generated content or any forums or Reddit or Quora here at the first page of Google. And let's try a few others here. This one says six. So you see number two here is again a forum, Reddit, forum, 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 and the forum. Those are strong indications that we can rank here at the first page of Google, probably up toward the top. Are white golf bags a bad idea? It's a pretty small topic, I assume, but uh, for a new site, this would be a great topic. So this one here is yellow. So you've seen the first one here is a forum, then we have Reddit, and we have a forum. But we do have some articles here around cars for golfers. And after all, the query here was something like SUVs that can hold four golf bags. So maybe they have something about that. But I think that would be another great article to write. So as soon as you start recognizing the patterns here, if it's a zero, it's a six, and it's green, and it's yellow, that's by far one of the best features I have ever seen in a keyword tool. So the tool here is built around a credit system, kind of like a photo stock site. So you just buy a bunch of credits and then you can perform more searches. And that's pretty cool. And I think this tool here is great for generating lots of ideas. If you don't know which direction to go, it's a great way to do that. And also I would say, always check the competition before you write the article. I mean, go into these articles. Don't just take its word for it. Check out that it's actually a forum, not just a site talking about forums or whatever. You just want to make sure that it's actually user generated content and that is something that you can beat. And sometimes if there's extensive information in a forum or in a Quora post or on Reddit, we've seen a few times that it 
can be tough to beat them sometimes, but I would say nine out of times, it's a clear signal that you should definitely write that article if you find Quora, Reddit, and that stuff up there. So remember to leave a comment here if you want to participate in this little competition, and I'll see you guys in the next video.